Hello fellow simmers and welcome to this tutorial from Flight Sim Productions. Today we're going to take a look at how to install liveries in Fly the Mad Dog X. This is what I have so far in my livery collection. We're going to double click the load manager for Fly the Mad Dog. And it's going to come up to something similar to this. And if you look right off to the right where, where your uh, installed MD-80s are, you're going to find a tab that says Livery Manager. You're going to click on that. And as you can see, I only have one livery installed. That was default, I'm assuming. Usually gives you a thumbnail, but sometimes it does not. And over in the left, you can see that I have no liveries that need to be activated. So in order to get the liveries, what we have to do is go to their website, which is flythemaddog.com. You're going to want to log in because if you don't log in, you won't be able to download any of the liveries. From there, we're going to go ahead and go over to where it says repaints. We're going to click on that. And that's going to take us to this page. You're going to notice that there are two options there. Native PBR reprints and non-PBR reprints. We're going to go ahead and work with the native PBR reprints. As for the non-PBR, you're going to find some more options down there for liveries to install. And it's just going to automatically be converted in the livery manager for PBR for default. These ones here are the nicer looking models. After you click on that, you're going to notice that there are several different liveries that you can download and install, four pages worth. And we're just going to go ahead and pick one out down here. All you're going to do is click on what you want to download. That's going to take you to a page like this. And usually there's some nice pictures in there that the person who did the repaint will have in there. Looks really nice. Obviously you're going to click the download and you're going to want to save it to some place where you can get to it to go to the next step. After that's downloaded, it does download as a zip file. You're not going to extract it. You're going to actually be putting it into a folder and the livery manager will take care of the rest for you. Now to get to that folder, you're going to go to your computer. You're going to go down to where it says Documents. Down to where it says Mad Dog X Files. And last but not least, you're going to go to the Liveries folder. All we're going to do is simply grab the zip file that you just downloaded and put it into that folder. So wherever you have your zip file saved to, grab it, throw it in there, and we can close out of this. And then we're going to open up our livery, our load manager again. Sorry about that. Then we're going to head over to the livery manager tab. And now you can see in the left hand column, I actually have something. So we're going to move that over to the right hand column by clicking on that little right arrow. And we're going to hit the button there below to basically install it. And sometimes you get a when you get a preview, sometimes you don't get a preview. But they usually install. After that, you're gonna hit that button again and make sure you hit apply. And that's going to install the livery. Now you can do that, and by hitting that other button, you're making the variant for all three of the different models of the MD80. So you don't have to go back in and do that. All right, we're going to take a look at what we have in prepared. Prior to getting to this part, I actually downloaded a few more liveries, did the exact same steps, and now you can see what we come up with. We 
again by hitting make this variant available for all the liveries you're going to have the exact same livery for all three models which I kinda like doing it that way that way I don't have to search for another livery for the different you know MD models that are out there and it's that simple piece of cake right And there are some really nice looking paint jobs out there. Hats off to the fellows that do this. Alright, that's pretty much it folks. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. That lets us know that what we're doing is exactly what you want to see. Check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash Productions. Until next time, keep your head in the clouds.